Hello guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to GKI Gading Indah Youth Sunday Service. How are you all? I hope you guys are doing okay, doing well and healthy. Well, if you're not well today, if you're not healthy today, it's totally fine. Uh, keep living that God is our only hope. Before we start our service, let us prepare our heart. Before we start, let us pray. We thank you, God, for the opportunity that you've given us today. We thank you that we can all gather here today to listen to your words. Now, God, uh, please open our hear, ears, open our heart, so that we may listen to your words wholeheartedly and we may do it in our daily life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is taken from Matthew chapter 20, verse 1 to 16. Matthew chapter 20, verse 1 to 16, I will read it for all of us. The laborers in the vineyard. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, 
You also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? Uh, they said to him, because no one has hired us. And then he said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last work only one hour. And you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first and the first will be last. Alright guys, today's topic is about uh, to serve God joyfully. I know you guys are tired, each one of you are tired of listening to this serving God thing. It has been repeated, it has been repeated over, over and over again ever since you entered high school and when you sit on one of those benches at church or even at this uh, online service, we are being told to serve God wholeheartedly. Serve God, serve God and serve God. Today... I want to talk about serving God again, but kind of from different point of view. So bear with me, please. Now let's have a look at our reading today. Matthew chapter 20, verse 1 to 16 is actually a parable that Jesus delivered, that Jesus taught to his disciples. Uh, If we do have a look at the verses before Matthew chapter 20, which is Matthew chapter uh, 19, verses 27 to 30, it was actually Peter who is asking to Jesus, who is asking Jesus, uh, what will they get if they were to follow Jesus? What will be the reward of following him and serving God? Jesus answered the question at verse 28 to 30. And so chapter 20 verses 1 to 16 is actually to emphasize the point that Jesus made. Well, you guys can read it all by yourself. Because I will be focusing on the parable that Jesus told, which is uh, Matthew chapter 20, verse 1 to 16. So the parable is about this. Once upon a time, there was a landlord or a landowner. He owned a vineyard. So early in the morning, he went to find some laborers to work at his vineyard. They made a deal and all of them will be paid a usual daily wage. And off they went to the vineyard and started their work. At 9 a.m., the landlord went again. He went again to the marketplace and hired more people. He did this at 12 o'clock, at 3 o'clock, and 5 o'clock. He went and asked the people he met to work at his vineyard. After the day has finished, he paid all of them the same wage, which was the usual daily wage. First, he called the ones who worked from 5 o'clock, and then it was continued to those who work at 3, and so on. The first workers, uh, the first who came, who came first, I mean, the, the workers who came first, got their paid last. No matter how many hours they worked, they all equally got the usual daily wage. The workers who had been working since the morning didn't like the decision, so he went to the landlord and made a protest, because they thought they worked more than those who started later. Fair enough. But the landlord then said, well, we made a deal before. I was being fair. And it is my right to do everything I want with my belonging, which is, which is the money he had. And, and in the end, Jesus said, So the last will be first, and the first will be last. Through this parable, parable is a story, uh, through this parable, through this story, Jesus wants us to know what truly really is working for God. Uh, what truly really is working for God means. What truly really is... Uh, Serving God means there are three things he wants us to know. First, the calling to work 
or the calling to serve God is really God's grace for us. This calling to serve and work for Him is not a burden, but a privilege, an invitation for us humans. And this work must be embraced with joy because of it's a privilege, man. So it's not a burden. Second, our God is a fair God. He keeps His promise. Just like the landlord, he said that he would pay the, at the, the, the amount of wages that, that they had agreed on before they start working. So, he's actually quite fair, right? Third, the last sentence, which is, The last will be first, and the first will be last. This is what Jesus said after the story, just like what he said in Matthew uh, chapter 19, verse 30. By showing that the first workers were being last in terms of getting paid. So it, it doesn't matter who comes first or who comes last. It doesn't matter anymore. As we can see, through this parable and the three things I, I just mentioned, we are uh, uh, invited to serve him with joy because it is the privilege that we have. It doesn't matter anymore who gets more or who gets less, who comes first, who comes uh, last. When it comes to serving God, it will be all the same. What matters is the joy that we have when we serve Him. And we share that joy with others also, with the people around us. Surrender your life to our Almighty God and let Him shape us, mold us, and lead us to do His wills and His works. We are to serve God with joy. Now, I realize during the couple of months, during, during the past couple of months, uh, we are suffering. Uh, we are fighting and trying to cope with COVID-19 in our society. A lot of new rules have been made. A lot of enhancements in technology have been upgraded in order to connect us with others and support our routines. There are a lot of changes and a lot of discomforts that we have to deal with. We have been quarantined. Uh, we have been told to stay home. And we have to follow all the new rules that make us uncomfortable for our society, for our safety. I don't really like the new rules actually because I can, I cannot uh, meet my friend uh, freely now because of this uh, limitation. And you see, frankly, it is very hard to be positive these days. Uh, in the midst of these blue days, how do we serve God joyfully? Well, I did some research. And I found an article about how to serve God during this pandemic time, during during this quarantine time. So I will tell you some some of my. Uh, I will tell you what I found. First, before serving Him, we are encouraged to strengthen our bonding with God, our bond with God. This thing can be done by reading the Bible, listening to His words, like you are doing right now, and don't forget to pray. So first, we have to strengthen our bond with God. And after that, because of the situation, we can serve Him online. This can be done by writing some encouragement during this hard time and share it in your social media. Or you can have a mini Bible study with your friends using Google Meet or Zoom. Otherwise, you can have a mini Bible study at home with your family maybe, mom, dad, or maybe your siblings. If it is too hard, you guys can start with having a quality time at home first. Because God calls us to love our families also. Well, if you can play music, if you can play some instrument, guitar, piano, drums, if you're a musician, make a video clip of you playing some instruments to encourage your friend, for example, or, write, or maybe write a song. Maybe write a song about encouragement. If you like to draw, then make a drawing and send it to your friend. Or maybe write a letter if you like to write. Surfing God can be done through surfing others and be a blessing to them. The least thing you can do is to share the YouTube link of our online service and ask your friend or family to join us in the body of Christ digitally. Remember guys, it's all about joy, joy, and joy. We have to enjoy our uh, what, what we do. So you have, to, you have to keep that in mind. It is all about serving Him joyfully. To be joyful means to enjoy the things that we do. Therefore, let's embrace this calling as a privilege for God has invited us. He, He, He has chosen you. You. He has chosen you and He has called you. He thinks of you as special. May God enable all of us. Amen. Abide with me Fast falls the
Now is the time for the offerings. You may keep your offering inside an empty envelope and then keep it with you and bring it to the church when the pandemic is over and the service is being held offline again. Otherwise, you may transfer your offering into GKI Gading Indah bank account. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity that we have today. We thank you that we are being called and we are being encouraged to do your work, to serve you joyfully. May you enable us to do it because we cannot do it on our own. We also want to pray for the government, for the paramedics, all the doctors out there who are fighting this pandemic all together. Uh, please bless them and give them wisdom so they can be a blessing for their people. We also want to pray for our church, GKI Gading Indah, for the priests, the elders. Please bless them, God, and give them wisdom. So everything they do, everything, uh, everything they think is, is all about your glory name. We also want to pray for our friends at Youth Sunday Service. Please bless their future. Please bless their study. And may you enable them to do everything they can. God, please forgive our sins and help us, enable us to do everything, anything you want us to do. In the name of Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. Guys, my friends, our service is finished. I'll see you again in the Utah service next week. Happy Sunday. God bless you all.